Welcome to the 2025 Washington DMV written test. This test is 60 questions with explained answers to help you prepare for this test. Before we get started, don't forget to jumpstart that like button to keep this channel running. Now here is your DMV instructor to walk you through the questions. Question one, what's a good thing to do when you're driving on a dark street at night? A, drive slowly enough that you can stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. B, turn off your headlights. C, drive with your eyes closed. D, drive as fast as possible. The correct answer is A, drive slowly enough that you can stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. When you're on a poorly lit street at night, it's important to drive at a speed where you can stop in the area that your headlights light up. This helps you see and react to anything that might be in the road ahead. Question two, what should you do if you see an emergency vehicle with flashing lights while you're driving? A, wave to the emergency vehicle. B, make every effort to give the emergency vehicle a clear path of travel. C, start a race with it. D, drive very slowly in front of it. The correct answer is B, Make every effort to give the emergency vehicle a clear path of travel. When you see an emergency vehicle with flashing lights, it's important to make space for it to pass safely. This helps the emergency responders get to where they're needed quickly and can save lives. Question three. What should a driver do if they're feeling worried, nervous, angry, or crying before driving their car? A. Take the time to focus on driving before starting the engine. B. Start the engine and go. C. Drive as fast as possible to feel better. D. Sing loudly to cheer up. The correct answer is A. Take the time to focus on driving before starting the engine. If a driver is feeling worried, nervous, angry, or upset, it's a good idea to take a moment to calm down and focus on driving before starting the engine. Being in the right state of mind helps ensure safe and responsible driving. Question four. What does this sign tell you about the road ahead? A. You should increase your speed and proceed with caution. B. The highway ahead is undergoing maintenance. C. You are exiting a construction zone. D. There is a detour ahead. The correct answer is B. The highway ahead is undergoing maintenance. This sign warns you that the road ahead is being worked on or repaired, so you should be cautious and drive safely through the construction zone. It helps prevent accidents and keep drivers and workers safe. Question five. You're driving toward a green light, but the road ahead is full of cars. What should you do? A, race into the intersection. B, don't enter the intersection until you can get completely across. C. Wait in the middle of the intersection. D. Close your eyes and keep going. The correct answer is B. Don't enter the intersection until you can get completely across. When traffic is blocking the intersection, it's best to wait at the green light until you can drive all the way through the intersection. This helps keep the intersection clear for other drivers and prevents traffic jams. Question six. When you're going up a hill and getting closer to a big truck from behind, what should you keep in mind? A. The truck may be carrying lots of ice cream. B. The truck may be able to fly. C. The truck may be traveling at a speed slower than the posted speed limit. D. The truck may be traveling at the same speed as the posted speed limit. The correct answer is C. The truck may be traveling at a speed slower than the posted speed limit. When you're driving up a hill and approaching a heavy truck from behind, it's important to be aware that the truck might be moving slower than the speed limit. This helps you drive safely and adjust your speed accordingly. Question seven. When should you leave more space in front of your car when you need to stop? A, when driving on a clear straight road. B, on an incline. C, when traveling at high speeds. D, during daylight hours. The correct answer is B, on an incline. When you're stopping your car on a hill or incline, it's a good idea to leave more space in front of your car. 
This extra space helps prevent your car from rolling backward and keeps you safe while you're driving on hills. Question 8. What's the correct order of colors for traffic lights starting from the top? A. Red, yellow, green. B. Yellow, red, green. C. Red, green, yellow. D. Green, yellow, red. The correct answer is A. Red, yellow, green. The proper order for traffic lights from top to bottom is red, yellow, and green. These colors help drivers know when to stop, slow down, and go, keeping the roads safe and organized. Question 9. What does this sign tell you about what's up ahead? A. School crossing. B. No vehicles allowed. C. No pedestrian crossing. D. Pedestrian crossing ahead. The correct answer is D pedestrian crossing ahead. This sign helps drivers know that there's a place where people might be crossing the road soon. It reminds drivers to be extra careful and watch out for pedestrians to keep everyone safe. Question 10. What should you do when you're coming up to an intersection that doesn't have any stop signs or traffic lights? A. Close your eyes and hope for the best. B. Be prepared to yield. C. Drive as fast as you can. D. Honk your horn loudly. The correct answer is B. Be prepared to yield. When you're driving towards an intersection without stop signs or traffic lights, you should be ready to yield, which means you may need to let other cars go first. This keeps traffic moving safely. Question 11. What is the typical rule regarding the right-of-way for funeral processions when identified by headlights or hazard lights? A. Funeral processions are often granted the right of way. B. Funeral processions always have the right of way. C. Funeral processions never have the right of way. D. Funeral processions have the right of way only at traffic signals. The correct answer is A. Funeral processions are often granted the right of way. The typical rule regarding the right-of-way for funeral processions when identified by headlights or hazard lights is that they are often granted the right-of-way. This means that other vehicles on the road should yield to the funeral procession to show respect for the deceased and ensure the procession can proceed without interruption. However, these rules can vary by location and are usually a matter of local traffic laws and customs. Drivers should be aware of and follow the specific guidelines in their area. Question 12. When can someone ride in the back of a pickup truck and follow the rules? A. Never. B. Only on weekends. C. While standing up. D. In a secured seat and while using an approved safety belt. The correct answer is D. In a secured seat. And while using an approved safety belt, it's important for someone to be in a secured seat and use a safety belt if they want to ride in the back of a pickup truck safely and legally. This helps protect them in case the truck stops suddenly or gets into an accident. Question 13. What does this sign tell you about parking? A. No parking. This sign means that parking is not allowed in this area. It's important to obey the sign to avoid getting a parking ticket and to keep the road clear for other drivers. Question 14. What does this sign show you about the road? A. Two-way traffic. B. One-way road widens into two lanes ahead. C. You're going the wrong way. D. There is a divided road ahead. The correct answer is A. Two-way traffic. This sign tells you that the road ahead has traffic coming from both directions. It's important to stay in your lane and watch out for oncoming vehicles. Question 15. What doesn't affect how far your vehicle needs to stop? A. Color of your car. B. How fast you're going. C. Steering ability. D. Size of your car. The correct answer is C. Steering ability. The distance your car needs to stop is mainly influenced by how fast you're driving. The color and size of your car don't matter much. Steering ability is important for controlling your car, but it doesn't affect the stopping distance. Question 16. 
What should you do when you see a school bus stopped with its stop arm out? A. Speed up and drive around the bus. B. Honk your horn loudly. C. Come to a complete stop and wait to proceed. D. Try to pass the bus quickly. The correct answer is C. Come to a complete stop and wait to proceed. When you see a school bus with its stop arm extended, it means you should stop your car completely and wait until the arm goes back in. This helps keep kids safe when they're getting on or off the bus. Question 17. What should you do when you want to switch from the right lane to the left lane on a big highway? A. Close your eyes and hope for the best. B. Honk your horn loudly. C. Look in your rearview mirror for traffic behind you before changing lanes. D. Ask a friend to do it for you. The correct answer is C. Look in your rearview mirror for traffic behind you before changing lanes. Before changing lanes, it's important to check your rearview mirror to make sure there is no traffic approaching from behind. This helps you switch lanes safely and avoid collisions. Question 18. What can improve the well-being of an individual who has consumed alcoholic beverages? A. Drinking more alcohol to alleviate the effects. B. Having a cup of strong coffee. C. Drinking water to stay hydrated. D. Engaging in vigorous physical activity. The correct answer is C. Drinking water to stay hydrated. The only thing that can help someone overcome the influence of alcoholic drinks is time. Time allows the body to process the alcohol and return to a sober state. It's important to wait and not try any other remedies. Question 19. While operating a vehicle, which individuals might you come across who are using a white cane or a guide dog? A. Pedestrians with disabilities. B. People with visual impairments. C. Joggers and runners. D. Cyclists on the road. The correct answer is B. People with visual impairments. While operating a vehicle, you may encounter individuals using a white cane or a guide dog. These individuals often have visual impairments that may range from partial blindness to complete blindness. The white cane is a tool that helps them detect physical obstacles or changes in the terrain as they move. Guide dogs are specially trained service animals that assist people with visual impairments in navigating their surroundings safely. It's important for drivers to be aware of the presence of such individuals and to exercise caution and consideration when sharing the road to ensure their safety and well-being. Question 20. When you're driving behind a motorcycle, what's a good thing to do? A. Honk your horn to warn them. B. Allow a larger following distance. C. Drive really close to the motorcycle. D. Change lanes suddenly. The correct answer is B. Allow a larger following distance. It's a good idea to give motorcycles more space by allowing a larger following distance. This helps you react safely if they need to stop quickly or if there's an emergency. Question 21. What does this road sign tell you about the road ahead? A. Safe speed for residential area. B. Safe speed for commercial area. C. Safe speed for school area. D. The maximum safe speed for an expressway exit. The correct answer is D the maximum safe speed for an expressway exit. This road sign shows the fastest speed you should go when exiting an expressway safely. It helps drivers slow down as they leave the highway, reducing the risk of accidents. Question 22. When do you need to ensure there is an increased distance between your vehicle and the one ahead of you? A. Only in heavy traffic. B. In adverse weather conditions. C. When driving at night, D, always, to maintain safe following distance. The correct answer is D, always, to maintain safe following distance. If a car is driving too close behind you, tailgating, it's a good idea to create more space in front of your vehicle to stay safe. This gives you extra time to react if something unexpected happens on the road. Question 23. 
How can you make sure you don't get into a crash after drinking alcohol? A. Drive as fast as you can. B. Deciding before you start drinking that you are not going to drive. C. Close your eyes and hope for the best. D. Keep drinking more alcohol. The correct answer is B. Deciding before you start drinking that you are not going to drive. One way to avoid the dangers of drinking and driving is to make a plan not to drive at all if you're going to drink. This helps keep you and others safe on the road. Question 24. You've been waiting for a while with your blinker on to get back into traffic, but it's really busy. What should you do now? A. Drive out quickly and honk your horn. B. Close your eyes and go. C. Continue waiting and yielding to traffic in the lane. D. Give up and stay where you are. The correct answer is C. Continue waiting and yielding to traffic in the lane. If traffic is heavy and you've been waiting to re-enter the traffic flow, it's best to be patient and keep waiting while letting other cars pass. Eventually, you'll find a safe opportunity to merge back into the traffic lane. Question 25. What should you do with your headlights when you're driving in foggy weather? A. Turn on your high beam headlights. B. Turn off your headlights. C. Turn on your low beam headlights. D. Drive without headlights. The correct answer is C. Turn on your low beam headlights. In foggy weather, it's best to use your low beam headlights to help you see better and be seen by other drivers. High beams can reflect off the fog and make it even harder to see. Question 26. What should you do when a car is driving very close behind you? A. Play a game of hide and seek. B. Slam on your brakes. C. Move over to the right if there is an open lane to your right. D. Speed up and drive faster. The correct answer is C. Move over to the right if there is an open lane to your right. If a car is driving very closely behind you, it's a good idea to safely move to the right if there's an open lane available. This can help both you and the other driver stay safe and avoid accidents. Question 27. What should you do when you see a yellow traffic light flashing? A. Speed up and go fast. B. Proceed with caution. C. Turn around and go back. D. Stop your car immediately. The correct answer is B. Proceed with caution. When a yellow traffic light is flashing, it's a signal for drivers to be careful. You should slow down and make sure the road is safe before you continue driving. Question 28. What should you do when you see this sign? A. Dance in the street. B. Close your eyes and keep driving. C. Yield the right of way. D. Speed up and race with others. The correct answer is C. Yield the right of way. When you come across the sign, it's telling you to let other drivers go first before you. It's a way to keep traffic safe and organized. Question 29. What should you keep in mind when driving on a wet road? A. That pavement is especially slippery right after it starts to rain. B. It's time to play loud music. C. The road is extra bumpy. D. You should drive as fast as you can. The correct answer is A. That pavement is especially slippery right after it starts to rain. When the road is wet, it can be very slippery, especially when it starts raining. So, it's important to be extra careful and drive more slowly to stay safe. Question 30. When are you not allowed to cross a single broken white or yellow line on the road? A. Anytime you want. B. Only when it's sunny outside. C. When you're in a hurry. D. When doing so would interfere with traffic. The correct answer is D. When doing so would interfere with traffic. You should only cross a single broken white or yellow line when it's safe to do so and won't cause problems for other drivers on the road. It's important to follow the rules to keep everyone safe. Question 31. What does this sign tell you about what's coming up on the road? A. Construction workers near. B. School ahead. C. School crossing. 
D. Pedestrian crossing ahead. The correct answer is D. Pedestrian crossing ahead. When you see this sign, it means there is a place where people might be crossing the road on foot. Be extra careful and watch out for pedestrians in that area. Question 32. What's the first thing you should do if you want to go slower on a slippery road? A. Take your foot off the gas pedal. B. Close your eyes. C. Speed up. D. Honk your horn loudly. The correct answer is A. Take your foot off the gas pedal. If the road is slippery, it's safest to start by letting go of the gas pedal. This helps your car slow down and you can keep better control, reducing the risk of skidding or sliding. Question 33. What color are the lines that separate lanes of traffic going in different directions? A. Red. B. Blue. C. Green. D. Yellow. The correct answer is D. Yellow. When you see yellow lines on the road, it means that the lanes are separating traffic moving in opposite directions. This helps drivers stay in the right lanes and drive safely. Question 34. What is the appropriate stopping distance in relation to a school bus with flashing lights and an extended stop sign, both in front of and behind the bus? A. 10 feet. B. 15 feet. C. 25 feet. D. 20 feet. The correct answer is D. 20 feet. Children may cross within 10 feet of the stop bus. To give them a safe amount of space, you should stop 20 feet from the front or back of the bus. Question 35. What should you do if you think another car might crash into you? A. Sound your horn to alert the other driver. B. Swerve off the road to avoid the other car. C. Pull to the right side of the road. D. Slam on your brakes to stop quickly. The correct answer is A. Sound your horn to alert the other driver. If you believe another car is about to hit you, it's a good idea to honk your horn to alert the other driver and try to prevent an accident. This can help avoid collisions and keep everyone safe on the road. Question 36. What does this road sign tell you about the road you're on? A. Passing allowed only on the right side. B. Passing allowed on both sides. C. Lane reduction. The right lane ends soon. D. No passing allowed on either side. The correct answer is C. Lane reduction. The right lane ends soon. This road sign tells you that the right lane of the road is going to disappear soon, so you should merge into the left lane to keep traffic flowing smoothly and safely. Question 37. What should you do when driving on slippery roads? A. Drive really fast. B. Take turns more quickly. C. Take turns more slowly than usual. D. Close your eyes and go fast. The correct answer is C. Take turns more slowly than usual. When the roads are slippery, it's important to be extra careful. You should slow down and take turns more slowly than you usually do to avoid sliding or losing control of your car. This helps keep you and others safe. Question 38. What should drivers do when they see a steady green traffic light? A. Stop your car. B. Turn around and go back. C. Continue driving unless there are vehicles or pedestrians already in the intersection. D. Honk your horn loudly. The correct answer is C. Continue driving unless there are vehicles or pedestrians already in the intersection. When you see a steady green light, it means you can go. But you should be careful and look out for other cars or people who might already be in the intersection. Your safety and the safety of others is very important. Question 39. When you park your car on a hill facing upward, what should you do besides using the parking brake? A. Blow a whistle loudly. B. Leave the car in neutral. C. Turn the front wheels away from the curb. D. Turn the front wheels toward the curb. The correct answer is C. Turn the front wheels away from the curb. When you park on a hill facing upward, 
it's a good idea to turn the front wheels away from the curb. This way, if your car starts to roll, it will move away from the road instead of into it, helping to keep everyone safe. Question 40. If a big truck or bus is turning right, and you want to turn right too, what should you do? A. Honk your horn and go first. B. Speed up and pass the truck or bus. C. Close your eyes and turn quickly. D. Wait until the truck or bus turns before you turn. The correct answer is D. Wait until the truck or bus turns before you turn. When a big truck or bus is making a right turn, it's a good idea to be patient and let them turn first. This helps keep everyone safe on the road. Question 41. What might be risky and lead to a crash if you do it while driving? A. Take your eyes off the road. B. Adhering to the posted speed limit. C. Eating or drinking. D. Adjusting the radio or changing the climate control settings. The correct answer is A. Take your eyes off the road. Anything that distracts you from the road or makes you take your eyes off it can be dangerous and could cause a car crash. It's important to stay focused on driving to keep yourself and others safe. Question 42. What does this road sign show you about how traffic can move? A. Traffic can move in both directions. B. Traffic can move in the opposite direction. C. Traffic can move in any direction. D. Traffic flows only in the direction of the arrow. The correct answer is D. Traffic flows only in the direction of the arrow. This sign tells you that traffic on this road can only go in the direction that the arrow is pointing. It helps everyone stay safe and organized on the road. Question 43. What should you do when you see a person with a white cane or a guide dog on the road? A. Speed up and pass quickly. B. Honk your horn loudly. C. Drive very close to them. D. Slow down and be prepared to stop. The correct answer is D. Slow down and be prepared to stop. When you see a person with a white cane or a guide dog, you should slow down and get ready to stop to ensure their safety. This helps you avoid accidents and keeps everyone on the road safe. Question 44. What do downward-facing triangular signs do? A. They tell you to speed up. B. They tell drivers to yield. C. They tell you to stop. D. They tell you to honk your horn. The correct answer is B. They tell drivers to yield. When you see a downward-facing triangular sign, it means you should yield or give the right-of-way to other drivers when necessary. It's like saying, let them go first. Question 45. What should you do when another vehicle is passing your car? A. Maintain a constant speed. B. Honk your horn loudly. C. Change lanes without looking. D. Slow down as much as possible. The correct answer is A. Maintain a constant speed. When another vehicle is passing you, it's a good idea to keep your speed steady. This helps the other driver pass you safely and reduces the chances of a traffic problem. Question 46. What are the advisable actions to take when the road surfaces are slick? A. Reduce your speed and drive slower than usual. B. Maintain a safe following distance. C. Apply brakes gently and in a controlled manner. D. All of the above. The correct answer is A. Reduce your speed and drive slower than usual. When the roads are slippery, it's important to increase the space between your car and the one in front. This gives you more time to stop safely and helps prevent accidents. Question 47. What might happen if you have a drink while taking medicine you got from the doctor or at the store? A. It could lead to harmful interactions, reduced effectiveness, or adverse side effects. B. It may reduce the side effects of the medicine. C. It won't have any impact on the medicine's effects. D. It will enhance the effectiveness of the medicine. The correct answer is A. 
it could lead to harmful interactions, reduced effectiveness, or adverse side effects. Mixing alcohol with certain medications can have harmful consequences. Alcohol can interact with medication, leading to reduced effectiveness, increased side effects, or other negative outcomes. It's important to follow the advice of your healthcare provider or read the label on over-the-counter medicines regarding alcohol consumption while taking medication. Question 48. What does it mean when you see a red and orange triangle on a vehicle? A. The vehicle is an oversized load. B. The vehicle is carrying flammable materials. C. The vehicle is carrying hazardous materials. D. Slow-moving vehicle. The correct answer is D. Slow-moving vehicle. Whenever you spot a red and orange triangle on a vehicle, it tells you that the vehicle is moving slowly, so be patient and drive carefully around it. This helps everyone stay safe on the road. Question 49. What does this sign tell you about the road ahead? A. You are approaching a dead end. B. A divided highway begins. C. It's a warning of a steep hill. D. The road is closed for construction. The correct answer is B. A divided highway begins. This sign lets you know that the road is about to split into two separate lanes, and you'll need to be careful when driving in this area. It helps drivers understand the road layout and stay safe. Question 50. What should you do when you want to go past other cars on the road? A. Speed up and honk your horn. B. Close your eyes and go fast. C. Check your mirrors and blind spots. D. Stop and wait for the other cars to move. The correct answer is C. Check your mirrors and blind spots. When you want to pass other cars on the road, it's important to check your mirrors and blind spots to make sure it's safe. This helps you avoid accidents and drive carefully. Question 51. What should you do if you want to turn left at a big intersection but you can't see all the lanes because of other cars? A. Close your eyes and turn left. B. Speed up and race across. C. Honk your horn loudly. D. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. The correct answer is D. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. If you can't see all the lanes you need to cross when turning left at a multi-lane intersection, it's best to wait until you have a clear view of the traffic and it's safe to make your turn. This helps you avoid accidents and keeps everyone on the road safe. Question 52. What do you realize when you're about to turn onto a road with a broken yellow line in the middle? A. You're on a one-way road. B. There's a parade on the road. C. It's time for a race. D. You are on a two-way road. The correct answer is D. You are on a two-way road. When you see a road with a broken yellow line, it means you're on a two-way road, where traffic can come from both directions. It's important to be aware of oncoming vehicles and drive safely. Question 53. What does a solid yellow arrow on a traffic signal mean? A. You should prepare to stop if it is safe to do so. B. You should prepare to stop if it is safe to do so. C. Has the same meaning as a circular yellow traffic light. D. You must come to a complete stop immediately. The correct answer is C. Has the same meaning as a circular yellow traffic light. A solid yellow arrow on a traffic signal means the same thing as a circular yellow traffic light. It's a signal to slow down and prepare to stop if you can do so safely, just like when you see a regular yellow traffic light. Question 54. How much insurance coverage do drivers need for both personal injury protection, PIP, and property damage liability, PDL? A. $10,000. B. $1,000. C. $5,000. D. $100. The correct answer is A. $10,000. Drivers should have at least $10,000 in both personal injury protection, PIP, and property damage liability, PDL insurance coverage.
This helps ensure that if there's an accident, there's enough money to cover any injuries or damage. Question 55. What steps can you take to ensure your well-being and safety for driving? A. Regularly schedule and attend vision checks. B. Avoid distractions like texting or using your phone while driving. C. Get sufficient rest and avoid driving when fatigued. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Ensuring one's well-being and safety while driving involves several key steps, including scheduling regular vision checks to maintain optimal eyesight, refraining from distractions like texting or using a phone while operating a vehicle, and prioritizing adequate rest to prevent driving while fatigued. By adhering to these measures, drivers can significantly reduce the risk of accidents and promote safer driving practices. Question 56. What should a driver do when they see a flashing red traffic signal? A. Speed up and go quickly. B. Turn around and go back. C. Stop before entering the intersection. D. Honk the horn loudly. The correct answer is C. Stop before entering the intersection. When a driver sees a flashing red traffic signal, they should come to a complete stop before entering the intersection. This is important to avoid accidents and make sure the road is safe for everyone. Question 57. What should you do if you accidentally pass the exit on an interstate expressway? A. Keep driving straight. B. Get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. C. Make a U-turn. D. Drive in reverse. The correct answer is B. Get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. If you miss your exit, it's safest to continue to the next exit, then return to the one you missed. Turning around on the expressway or driving in reverse can be very dangerous, so it's better to follow this procedure. Question 58. How should a seatbelt be adjusted to keep you safe? A. Loosely draped over your shoulder. B. Tied around your waist. C. Is buckled snugly across your hip bones and lower abdomen. D. Buckled behind your back. The correct answer is C. Is buckled snugly across your hip bones and lower abdomen. To stay safe in a car, your seatbelt should be worn low, snug, and across your hip bones and lower abdomen. This helps protect you in case of a sudden stop or an accident. Question 59. Who gets to go first on the road when there's a funeral procession? A. The larger vehicles, such as trucks, have the right of way. B. The vehicles in the funeral procession have the right of way. C. It depends on local traffic laws and regulations. D. The vehicles in the funeral procession have the right of way. The correct answer is B. The vehicles in the funeral procession have the right of way. The right of way, in the context of a funeral procession, determines which vehicles have priority on the road when such a procession is in progress. Understanding these rules is important for ensuring a respectful and safe passage for the procession. The specific right of way rules can vary by location, so it's essential to be aware of local traffic laws and customs in your area. Question 60. What does this sign tell you about the road ahead? A. Time to race with bicycles. B. Bicycle crossing. C. Ice cream ahead. D. Time for a parade. The correct answer is B. Bicycle crossing. This road sign means that there might be a place where bicycles could be crossing the road. Be extra careful and watch for bicyclists to keep everyone safe. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you still need more practice, then check out these videos or click this link right here to get your cheat sheet, which will help you pass your DMV exam on the first try. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you still need more practice, then check out these videos or click this link right here to get your cheat sheet, which will help you pass your DMV exam on the first try.